Hallo? Goed trekt. Goed trekt, Spring. Good morning, you guys, and happy Wednesday! Lunchtime right now, and I whipped myself up a little vegan mac and cheese. I am not vegan or vegetarian, but I am lactose intolerant. So, that's what's for lunch. Trevor's having Taco Bell for lunch, but I just decided that I've been addicted to Arby's. <laughs> so I had Arby's again yesterday for lunch, and I need to be better. I just need to be better about eating healthier or eating at home and eating like a little less junk. So today, veggies, 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 veggies. Obviously mac and cheese isn't veggies, but it's a little bit of a treat for me. Today, I'm going to water the plants in the backyard. I bought some plants for the front yard, just a couple of like small plants that'll grow into potentially big trees. I got one bird of paradise and one palm. And so I think I'm gonna try to plant that today and yeah, we'll see what happens. So I saw this trend on TikTok where you show your husband or your significant other this Pottery Barn branch that literally is just a branch on a string and it's like quote unquote a Christmas decoration and just to kind of like see what the reactions are. When you say like, hey babe, it's finally on sale, should I get it? The branch is $119 for a branch, a pine branch on a string. It's called a pre-lit hanging faux pine branch and it's $119. I'm gonna insert a picture of it right here. Boop. And it's from Pottery Barn, so let's see Trevor's reaction. Oh, he's gonna kill me. I was just showing the vlog, the uh, Christmas decoration that I just bought. Okay. Because it finally went on sale and I just, I like, I needed to get it. What? <laughs> Why? It's so cute, right? You can put it, like, we can put, uh, take down one of these pictures. Why is it $120? Because it's, it's like, it's lit. It's like actually like lit, like a Christmas tree. But it's just a branch. No, it's not. On a string. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. It's not. What do you mean it's not? That's literally what it is. It's like the perfect Christmas decoration. <laughs> I ordered it already. <laughs> okay. Is that okay? I guess. Are you gonna hang it up for me? <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> I didn't actually do it. <laughs> I just wanted to see your reaction. <laughs> I know you didn't do it. You're always playing your tricks on me. <laughs> uh, you're a good husband. You, would you have been okay with it? Yeah, if you really wanted it. Oh my gosh. I, I don't need that that desperately. <laughs> I wouldn't think so. But. <laughs> I don't think there is a better way to end the day than with a piece of flan. Authentic Mexican flan is the best chef's kiss. Gizmo's begging as always. <laughs> Hello you guys and happy Thursday. So we've got the goods. We made our special order of Chamberlain coffee and it came in the mail today and it took only three days. It took three days. I think it's because it's coming from Monrovia, Monrovia, California. So it's pretty close by. Yeah. But we got the early bird blend and the tasty notes are, it, are bright and sweet. But on the website, if you want a little bit more of an in-depth description, this light rose is crisp, bright, and complex with a subtle tartness of green apple and citrus, sweet caramel syrup, body, and creamy milk chocolate finish. So those are all of the things that Trevor and I love. And the good thing about this is the caffeine strength is five out of five beans. So here it is, Chamberlain coffee. Trevor's gonna brew it on the drip and we're gonna go ahead and do a taste test together. It smells really good. I also got the cup. <laughs> Is that so cute? It's okay. It's okay. 
Oh yeah, no, it's good. <laughs> it's good. I think the aftertaste kind of lingers and that's when you get all of the tasting notes, but I do taste, I taste the green apple, I taste the milk chocolate. It, it kind of tastes like diner coffee to me. Yeah, I can A little bit. It tastes like the donut shop Keurigs. That's what I, I feel, but doesn't like the, the taste kind of linger towards the end? Yeah, I'll have to brew this on my AeroPress and see like if it's um, different because like you, I'll usually get like more of the flavor notes. Like yeah. that like drips just kind of drip. Yeah, it looks like it's really watered down. Yeah, it's not like the boldest. Yeah, so. it's supposed to be like a light roast, so. But yeah. I think this might be too light. I'd probably give it like a five. Five out of 10? Yeah. Not bad, that's pretty good. Yeah, I would have given it like a four. <laughs> okay. Yeah, like a four or five. Yeah. Yeah, whereas the coffee like we just got, like I would honestly give it eight or nine. Like it's yeah. really good. So consensus is we like it, but we don't love it. Maybe we can try a different bean, but for now, Emma Chamberlain, your cup's cute. Hello you guys and happy Friday. Today we are making pozole. As you can see here, we have uh, some water that we are going to bring to a boil and right now I'm just adding my pieces of pork. The Mexican market already had a set pozole pack of pork. So it's all of the pieces that you could potentially ever need for making pozole. So all you have to do is just make sure that the pork is covered. And from here, we're going to add some bay leaves. I added about four a whole clove of garlic so add this guy too so i'm just kind of gonna have to just pop it in there and then half an onion and we are going to be boiling this until the pork is cooked through so that should be about 20 to 30 minutes we have the rest of our ingredients so we have the white hominy and somebody on TikTok was really raving about this teasdale brand so i ended up getting this one we have chile ancha and then we have chile guajillo sorry if i'm pronouncing these wrong chicken bouillon flavor to add to the broth okay so i cleaned out a couple of chiles i just put all the seeds in this bowl this actually can throw away this is where all the spiciness is and this is where all the flavor is so we're just gonna wait until the pork is is boiled through and then we're gonna go ahead and just add the chiles to um, rehydrate them and kind of like get the flavor into the broth but we have about like 15 minutes left on the pork okay, so the next step is that you take all of the chilies the onion and the garlic that you had boiling in your broth everything is soaked in the broth put everything in a blender along with half a cup of the broth and also a tablespoon of the chicken bouillon. Let's feed the gizmo breakfast. <laughs> so you're just gonna go ahead and liquefy until it turns into kind of like a nice pasta sauce consistency. Oh my god, I wish you can smell it. It smells so good. And in a second, we're just gonna add this back into the broth and then add the hominy and then cook it for another 15 minutes and call it a day. And so I added the hominy already. Um, I had a little issue with the can opener because it was broken. <laughs> so I had to run to CVS to get a brand new manual one. <laughs> and so this has been stewing for about two hours. I added the hominy for about the last like 30 minutes. I added about a can and a half. It should be ready. The pork is like fall off the bone soft, so it's gonna be really tasty. And I cut them up into little bite-sized chunks and uh, Trevor took Gizmo on a walk, so I'm just waiting for them to come back and we're gonna dig in. Hey guys, Trevor here. It's Sunday and I'm introing the blog, or vlog as you fun YouTube people like to call it. 
Today we're going to go to the old place to see my wife's friends and have a little bit of wine. For breakfast we had some breakfast tacos that my darling wife over there made and they were fantastic. Had some chorizo. Brilliant. A little bit of salsa, some avocado, all the fine things you'd expect in a breakfast taco. Now we're gonna get out of here and see you in a bit. Hello you guys and happy Thanksgiving! We are currently getting ready to head out to my mother-in-law's house for Thanksgiving dinner and I've been assigned a vegetable. So I'm going to make green bean casserole. We've also been assigned dessert. So obviously we had to go get Winston pies and it's their famous pecan pie. So what I am currently doing is cutting up the green beans and we're gonna make them from scratch and we're not gonna use canned beans you can use canned beans but I just think that it tastes better if you just do it from scratch so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take these and I'm gonna blanch them in boiling water for about about eight to ten minutes just so that they're soft and then I'm gonna mix them with uh, the rest of the ingredients hello Who's that? Who text me? Since it's Thanksgiving, we are going to list the things that we are thankful for. So let's each list maybe two things that we're thankful for. I'm thankful for you. Me? Yeah. I'm thankful for our health and happiness. You know what? I'm thankful for you too, and I am also thankful for our health and happiness. And I also am really thankful that despite all of the craziness this year, we've had a pretty successful and bountiful year. Right, mm -hmm. full of blessings, and maybe it'll continue. Hopefully, it'll continue. <laughs> so, happy Thanksgiving from the Smiths. Yeah. So, once these are done boiling for about eight minutes, we are going to prep an ice bath to stop their cooking so that they'll still have a little bit of a crunch to them, and they'll be really, really yummy. Preheat the oven to 350, and we're gonna take our blanched green beans. The lighting is so bad here. Wow. Wow. Next step, we are going to add cream of mushroom soup. Normally I like to make my own, but this year, nothing but the best. So we're gonna open two family size cans. Normally it's about like a can and a half. You take a wooden spoon and you kind of just fold it in. And then from here, that's when we kind of gauge to see if we need the second one. And it's looking like we do, because we have a lot of green beans. You also want to add the crunchy onions, and you're going to do about half a cup. Just add a little added texture and crunch into the green beans. Take your casserole bowl. A generous portion of these crispy onions. Evenly spread it out. And that's that. And so what we're gonna do is once the oven is done preheating, we're gonna put this in the oven for about 20 minutes and it should be done. And here she is, the finished product, and she looks great, oh my gosh. I added an extra five minutes, so it was in the oven for about 30 minutes and it's perfectly evenly crunchy and gorgeous and I cannot wait to dig in. Hello you guys and happy Saturday. So we just ordered a little bit of delivery. We got some banh mi sandwiches from a place called Bamboo Cafe. Bamboo Cafe and we're just having a slow morning. It's Saturday, it's a Saturday after Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. 
It's really good. Solid banh mi. Good crispy bread. Meat is juicy. A plus. Good morning and happy Sunday. <laughs> Good morning. Hey all you sports fans. <laughs> All right, you guys, we are back home currently. Um, it was kind of a crazy day today. Drove down to LA to hang out with Steph this morning. We went to the Unique Market Holiday Market, which was incredible. Got a few things, a few presents, and really delicious Belgian chocolate for Trevor. You know Trevor, he loves his chocolate. But yeah, we are making dinner right now. We're having tri-tip broccoli and potato pancakes. And yeah, I'm just sitting in the living room admiring the tree that we put up last night. I mean, she is gorgeous. She is tall, she is big, she is phenomenal. She's the biggest tree I've ever had. She's about nine feet. And yeah, I think it's colorful and fun and you know, we all need a little bit of holiday cheer right now. That is it for us this week. We hope you had an amazing Thanksgiving week despite circumstances. I know we have so much to be thankful for and thank you so much for those who do watch this channel and don't forget, like and subscribe and we will see you next week.